scene, Bosworth Field, a baseball stadium near Stratford. Enter two umpires. Hail, Bernardo. I give you greeting, Antonio. Thou hast the lineups. I, the batting orders, duly signed by managers both. Tis well. What o'clock is it? Tis at the stroke of two. Hark, the players come. To our appointed places shall we go. You at first and I behind the plate. Tis done. This game depends on how you make your call. Farewell until you hear me cry, play ball. Enter the team. My excellent good friends, may fortune smile upon our enterprise this day. As manager of this most valiant club, I swear by all that's holy in our game, I shall not rest until the pennant over Stratford flies. Yay! Most noble manager. Who calls? Tis I, Richard. Speak, O oh faithful Richard. I pray you tell us how doth the starting lineup go. Tis as it was before with Harry, Pete, and Joe out in the field. Pee-wee. Sire. Thou the shortstop spot will play, and you three, guarding your accustomed bags, stand the first, Bill the second, and Richard the third. <laughs> and as for you, most noble sad Sam. Sire. Hie thee to the bullpen, so that if our pitcher from his box is knocked, you shall go upon the mound and take his place. I go. For this relief, much thanks. Most noble manager, a word. Speak, old Pee-wee. Where is the captain of our team, the mighty Yogi? The man whom all the sports reporters call the noblest catcher of them all. Alas, the mighty Yogi, he sits and mopes in yon locker room. And, well, he might, but in these last ten games, he has not hit the ball. Not even once. Yes, hitless has he gone, and 20 times has been called out on strikes. To think he led the league in RBIs, and now he reads the record book and cries. But soft, he comes. Oh, what a rogue and bush league slob am I. Is it not monstrous that this player here, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, should gaze upon the record book and find that he has ten games hitless gone? Oh, curse it, fate, that I, who led the league, should now bat 208. A hit, a hit, my kingdom for a hit. Once more, to hear that welcome crack of bat upon the ball, and then to run from first to second, then to third, and then to dig for a home. To slide, slide, slide! Aye, there's the rub. <laughs> there's a divinity that shapes our ends. Most noble yogi, who speaks? Tis I, the mentor of your team. Oh, sweet, my manager, gaze not upon my face. This is the poison of deep grief and springs from a batting slump. <laughs> Take heart, gentle yogi, for today your batting slump shall end. What say you? I have devised a plan wherein you shall bat five for five. A hit for every time I go to bat is so. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. He has flipped his lid. <laughs> My lid have I not flipped. Here is the instrument of your success. Tis but a bat. Not but a bat, but a most special bat. A Louisville slugger that once to Babe Ruth did belong. Babe Ruth? And with which the mighty Bambino 60 home runs did hit. Is this a slugger which I see before me? <laughs> the handle towards my hand? Come, let me clutch thee, and with this mighty staff of Burnham Wood shall I yet win the day. Play ball! The game begins! Oh. Attend me all! Pitchers, catchers, shortstops, lend me your ears. The game begins and we must win. And win we shall. All hail Stratford. All hail Stratford. A manager's blessing upon you all. And for your captain, noble yogi, give me your hand. Tis gladly given. Play well, valiant captain, and remember, today's game is being televised. Televised? And the TV shall record each passing play. 
TV or not TV? <laughs> that is not the question. We shall play with might and main. Where is my battery, mate? The pitcher mighty white is. Ha! <laughs> Art thou prepared to take thy place upon the mound? Mary, sire, I am. I shall do everything thou dost desire. I shall throw a goodly mixture of curves, sliders, and changes of pace that'll cause them to saw the air mightily with their bats. Thusly. <laughs> ah, thou art indeed a southpaw. Thy paw is from the south. And now, dear friends, to your appointed places go. Before this evening's sun is set, we'll win the day for Stratford. And Gillette! How goes the game? Not well, tis the bottom of the ninth with one away, and they do lead us by the score of one to nothing. Who's next to bat? Tis I, Macduff. Ready am I to do thy bidding, sire. Then take thou this bat. And hie thee to the plate. Tis done. How goes it, cousin? Our chance is dim with every pitch. Tis one away. Macduff is at the plate. Lay on, Macduff! And nuts to him who cries, Hold enough! <laughs> a hit! A very palpable hit! Foul ball! Foul ball! He called that foul! A plague upon him, that ball was fair! Here it was indeed. You, Sirrah! That ball was fair. That ball was foul. So fair a foul I have not seen. <laughs> a cursed knave with heart as black as coat you wear upon your back. Get thee a pair of glasses. Get thee to an optometrist. Now look here, I can't hold him the way I see him. Nothing way I see him. Nothing way I see him. Nothing way I see him. I would the gods had made thee more poetical. Now for the bomb thou art, stance thou revealed, thy head is emptier than ever's field. <laughs> and I say to thee, come thyself, sweet yogi. Right three. Oh, that was our second out. One more time at bat, do we have to win the game? Who's next? Tis I. Tis you? <laughs> Tis I. Then go with aid divine and hit that pap's blue ribbon side. <laughs> See how the valiant yogi stands at the plate like some mighty colossus, the bat resting gently on his shoulder. But soft, here is the wind-up. Here is the pitch. <laughs> oh! No! No, I cannot look. The sight doth sear my eyes. The ball did strike his head. The pitcher beaned him. Aye, a bean ball in the head. And now he staggers from the plate and rolls his eyes. He comes this way. I cannot look. Take thou me to the ball. Take thou me to the ball. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. Wash it all down with the flagon of sack. <laughs> oh, what a noble mind is here all thrown. His noggin hath taken a flogging. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, poor Derosha, I knew him well. A man of infinite lip. <laughs> ah! Greetings to thee, sweet Nim. Oh, horror, not only hitless, but witless. <laughs> There's a daisy. I would give thee violets, but they weather. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I saw the ghost of Dizzy Dean. Calling a game in the Chavez Ravine. Tis gone. Tis gone. Tis gone. Concussion now hath made its masterpiece. Train our hither. You call. Yes, cure him of that. I my lord. With this bucket shall I pour water on his bed. Oh, good fortune smiles upon our club again. The game's been called off on account of rain. <laughs> Now cracks a noble head. Good night, sweet catcher. Flights of short stops sing thee to thy rest. Let four bonus players bear Yogi like a soldier to the dugout. Mortals are we all of us. The greatest ones must fall. 
As even Casey Stengel knows, you cannot win them all. (laughs) 